Hello, and welcome to Beering in Mind Beer Reviews. Today we're looking at the second of uh, two beers, or four beers, I'm sorry, from Cooper's Brewery in Australia, and that is this one, that is Cooper's Dark Ale. Um, Cooper's is a long-standing brewery in Australia. In fact, they've been going since uh, 1862. The uh, founder emigrated in 1852 and started the brewery, and uh, it's been on its current site since 1881, and it's still family-owned. Uh, they're in the sixth generation of owners there. Uh, Cooper's has approximately 4.5% of the Australian beer market, um, and uh, the uh, big ones, Lion Nathan and Carlton, which are owned by uh, Kidding and uh, SABA Miller, respectively, have about 90% of the total market. So Cooper's, I assume, is probably the largest independent brewer in Australia. Uh, they're most famous for their sparkling ale. Uh, it's an Australian native style. It's the only one that's recognized a native style to Australia. Um, and the beers all include uh, yeast, so they're not filtered. Um, and they uh, do have some yeast bite to them. So let's get to this one here. This is Cooper's Dark Ale. It's a brown ale, classified as a brown ale, 4.5% alcohol. Uh, on rate beer, this one has 320 ratings, uh, an average score of 2.87, 22 percentile, again, that's out of 100% for, its, for uh, all beers, and 18 percentile for its style, brown ale. So not terribly high numbers. And to be honest with you, Brown ale is, for me, one of the most boring styles. Uh, it can be done well, but it's never terribly exciting. Let's see how this one is. Okay, I realize this is a twist-off cap. Well, maybe it's not. Or maybe I just don't have the twist-off capability anymore. Okay, so it pours out a, a very nice, sort of half opaque, somewhat translucent on the edges, uh, brown, and uh, like a half a finger of tan head, a little bit sloppy. So the overall appearance is nice. Uh, again, it's got a kind of a dark brown with a sort of mahogany edge there you can see in the light. Aroma. <clears throat> okay. Apparently this was inspired by uh, the Welsh brewer Brains, their dark beer. Um, the son of the current owner, I think, I think it's the son of the current owner, uh, studied in Cardiff in Wales and apparently became a fan of uh, Brains Dark Beer in, uh, in Cardiff. So this has pale, crystal, and roasted malts all mixed, and the room is quite sweet. Uh, some caramel, a little bit of dark fruit, dark fruitiness, maybe dried fruit. Flavor is lightly sweet, a bit nutty, perhaps. Definitely nutty. Some light, light chocolatey note. It finishes a little bit vegetal, slightly. Mm -hmm. Body's quite thin. Um, not terrible. Uh, I think it's it's okay. It's it is a little bit sweet. Uh, doesn't have as much creamy nuttiness as I would like from a brown ale. It is somewhat like a brown ale, but uh, what I'm guessing is that with their yeast uh, yeastiness, it takes on its own character. So you don't necessarily see the yeast, but uh, certainly not in this one. Uh, but you can assume it's there for sure. Okay, not too bad, uh, but I think there are probably better brown ales you can find. Again, this is Cooper's uh, Dark Ale from Cooper's Brewery in Australia, 
4.5% brown ale. Give it a go if you happen to see it, um, and let me know what you think. Okay, tell me if I'm wrong, perhaps. All right, and uh, subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. All right, take care. Bye bye.